right, let's do it again. on your walls, Maze? Are these screen grabs of gamer profile icons? Oh, is this a cute little voice recorder? No, 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 you bitch! You did not kill me. You cheated somehow, or you got your boyfriend to snipe me. I hope you know that cheating gives you pussy cancer. My god, they're trophies. How many do you have? <laughs> I've lost count. Not really, but that sounds cool. I call them my chorus of the damned. Do you ever think about going back to pro gaming? Nah, your reflexes peak at 23, 24. Another thing I've lost, chasing the ship date. But I tell you, after a day on this project, I do like to sit here, open an ice cold beer, and just hit play on all of them at once. In fact, that sounds really good right now. Get out and close the door. Let's listen.
Holy balls! You took out the Hiver Queen with no weapons? Shows a fine killer instinct. You remind me of me. I feel compelled to reward you somehow, but minus any systems, all that's left is... story. Huh. Tell you what, I'll pass on to you the only story that a game should ever need. Back before time was a thing, there were these two cavemen. Or women, whatever. I'm just gonna pronoun at random. I call these two Frag and Brag. Newbies think I keep those names on my knuckles like a lifestyle. Like I believe in both. Negative. No, sir. See, Frag and Brag had their eyes on the same prize, okay? Wanted some time in the naked cave with the same mates. Try to get bombed on the same fermented applesauce. Everything. Fighting over it all had nearly killed them both. They had to pick a winner without the loser dying. At that very moment, the first game was born. And with it, mother effing civilization, okay? Now, in that contest, Frag came out on top, easily. She was faster, stronger, and smarter by a country mile. But Bragg, now, he had an idea. He'd tell the tribe that he would have won if that darn sun wasn't in his eyes. And people swallowed it. Pretty soon, Bragg realized he didn't have to compete at all. He could go on making up BS for the rest of his life. He told the first story and ruined the first game with it. Took that sacred interplay of all human striving and added an effing cheat code. And that, children, is why the parable of Frag and Brag is the only story that games will ever need. We ride it on our knuckles that it may serve as a warning.
Should have known you brought all this back. So what do you actually want? Maybe steal someone's account, then edit the world like we do? Be my guest. Just do it to that three-faced intern, Coda. She's holding a gun to my personal brand, but if you hijack her machine and lock out her controls right as the demo starts, her plans will implode, and I'll give you her job. Think about it. Man. Seeing all this again. Once you doomed one entire world on a whim, the sin of it is past. It might just become habit. That's who the gods are now. If today stings a little, they box it, bury it, and by tomorrow, it never was. recorded commentary when the game was, you know, done. I'm the newbie. I have work to do. It's a making of track for the special edition? Listeners, you're nerdy enough to have played our multiplayer text dungeon. So you were probably stabbed by the infamous Maze Evelyn here. Woo! Happy to be here, man. Shout out to the Frag Hags, my old clan. Yes, you ladies gatecrashed my cooperative story experiment and killed, well, everyone. Why it started selling better as a sort of murder circus. Well, I hired you to explain. Not everyone. Still eats at me that I never managed to gank you. I mean, Starfather. But your avatar had that immortality flag. Cheater. You're a god now, my dear. It's not cheating if you write the rules. Yeah, okay, um, let's try it again. Attack was off on a few other things. Coda, 
I'm going home. I may have fallen asleep in the lounge. Are you still working on the demo? I need finished looking assets, and there's a whole deleted folder under colored sci-fi, but it's source locked by you and Maze. Would you mind restoring them? Coda, that was the past. You're the future, okay? Uh, speaking of, you know it's high time you came out to have dinner at Starfall. Your custom smart castle? Out in the woods? No, I mean what? I'm taking hours and hours of your time on this demo. It's an overdue courtesy. I have always dreamt of seeing it. What shall I wear? You'll see. got an in crowd and an odd man out. Like Starfather and his entourage, whispering in a tight little circle. And me standing at remove and shouting, you ain't so hot, from here I can see all your asses. And scheming to make it all fall apart. But if the oddball wins, hell, they become the new normal. No thanks. If there has to be a new boss, I choose you.
Greetings, streamers. Your plucky heroine is making some poor choices for the cause. I need Ish to trust me, so I agreed to this dinner at his castle. But A, he said he's picked an outfit for me, so I'm recording this in case. And yet B, there are definitely other guests. I know when he was married, Ish and his wife were Polly, so I am now walking through the woods, off the trail, hoping to not see an orgy before it sees me. Yes, those are cloaks. People are wearing cloaks. I'm going to have to outrun all of the murder sex in these shoes. But, uh, if so, that's some jaunty music. The gods would tell you exactly what to do next. <laughs> Not me. I want you burning with righteous doubt. Call BS on everything. Even me. The gods are just stuck on what is and what ain't. But. There's always a place between. And if you got the will, you can live there. When they erase something, it hangs around as a ghost, in case they realize they screwed up and want it back. Usually a ghost can't move around. But you... You're that something between. Okay, boss, now... I had something important for this area. Um, uh, yeah, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> 